Hi y'all. Today and every day, I am testing lithium iron phosphate cells. A lot of lithium iron phosphate cells, 202 of them to be exact. So I wanna show you a few of the strategies that I'm incorporating to try to speed the process along. Now, I could really go fast if I had about a dozen of those and a dozen of those to go with it, but I have one. And so what I'm doing is, this is the cell that I'm testing with that expensive tester. And it is currently showing that it has uh, 63, 64 amp hours in it, and it's gonna be testing for another six hours or so, five and a half hours. It tests at 40 amps, and so one of these batteries takes seven hours to do. So what I'm doing, one thing that I'm doing is I'm using this power supply, which will charge, uh, it, it charges up to 60 amps, but uh, it starts at about 35 when I plug it onto one of these because they're already half charged. And I use this power supply to pre-charge the battery that I'm about to test. So I'm testing this one now, I'll test this one next. So by the time this one gets finished testing, this one will already have gotten up to the point where the amperage has dropped to one amp or less, and then I let it rest for about 45 minutes or an hour. And when I time it right, then this one is finished testing this cell about the time this one is ready to be tested. In the meantime, this gets moved to the next cell and gets it ready for the test that comes along behind it. When I get finished testing, the cell that I just tested is now empty. So then I'm using this power supply, which it, it will run up to 18 amps. I've got it set at 14 amps right now. And that power supply is recharging this cell and in about the same seven hours that it takes to test this one, this one will get back into having about 100 amp hours um, into that 280, well, 270 amp hour cell. So that's about good enough for storing it while I get all my testing done. At some point, I'll start top balancing. What I'm doing over here is I've got a couple of these small power supplies and I'm running them both to bring this cell, which has already been tested, up to uh, full again. Because what I wanna do is then take this really cheap tester and I'm gonna run a test on it. I'll let you know later how it came out. I'm gonna run a test on it and see how the test compares using this cheap tester compared to this expensive tester. If it's right on, then I'll do the same thing with the next cell. And if I can repeatedly show that this tester is very close to the same accuracy as this tester, then I will start using this tester as well to speed this process along. Now this expensive tester, it's about $300, $280 delivered with taxes and all that. You can get it a little bit cheaper if you're willing to wait, but not a lot. They used to be less expensive than they are now. And in fact, it only took me a week to get this one when I bought it. Now it would take four to six weeks. So I have a spreadsheet where I'm documenting all of this. And I'm hoping this shows up on the video and isn't just a wavy mess in the video, but it looks clearer in real life and I have documented tallied every cell I checked each one for internal resistance I weighed each one and I noted whether or not it had a QR code or if the QR code was covered up and which box it came in these were supposed to be matched and it turns out they're not terrible this box 6-3 uh, was supposed to contain cells that tested at 276. 
it turns out they test at 275, 277, 274, and 276. I'm finding something similar with all of them. The next box that was supposed to have 273, it tested at 273, 274, 272, and 271. What I'm gonna do is test all these cells and then I'm gonna do a real matching of them because I have 202 cells to do. And the batteries are gonna be uh, susceptible to the weakest cell. So I'm going to batch these uh, with like capacities so that I can get the most capacity out of the cells that I have. And um, that's about it. I just wanted to show you how the testing is going. It's going to be ongoing for quite some time. I'm able to do three per day. 202 cells. I have 124 of them right now. I have eight more on the way and then there's 70 that just left the Asian coast and on their way to Long Beach. So we will um, hopefully see those in about a month. They're supposed to hit Long Beach on the 16th of October. It'll be a couple of weeks probably just getting them off the water and then probably another week or two to get them into a FedEx van and dropped off here. So that's it for this video. Uh, I've got a, okay, no sneak peeks. No sneak peeks at what the boxes actually look like when they go together. No, no, we don't want any sneak peeks, but that's what they look like. And with our community, oh, okay, no, no sneak peeks. We're starting to put those, I'm, I'm starting to put those together. They're going together really well. The uh, effort that I went to to get the, the lugs aimed in the right direction meant that when they went together, they all laid down very flat. They all tied in very nicely and they're gonna, the cables are gonna sit very nicely onto the batteries as well. There's the fuse down in the bottom, display. The BMS sensing cables will go on after they're connected to the cells. All right, that's it, y'all. See you on the next video.